Hello, my name's Eve and I'm one of the trainers at Third Space London and we've created this four part mini series for you guys at Regent Street. So over the next four sessions, I'm going to be taking you through the magic of Pilates. If you've not done Pilates before, what Pilates is, is it's a practice a series of exercises designed to build muscle endurance, to improve flexibility and mobility, to really work on your posture and to connect to your body, mind and spirit. So the next four sessions, we just going to be using a mat, so not a reformer bed. So this is great if you're working from home, if you're finding that you're sitting at laptops quite a lot or you're holding a lot of stress upstairs in the shoulders, these next four sessions are going to be really important for your health. Again, mind, body and spirit. So the first session today, I'm going to be taking you through our Pilates fundamental principles. I like to call them A, B, C. Alignment, breathing and centering. Each session is going to be 10 minutes long, so short little bites to really get you moving, to get you mindful on the mats. All right, so when you're ready, grab a mat, hop into something comfy and come and join me. We're going to start with number one, fundamental principle, which is breath work. So find yourself either kneeling, maybe sitting down with your legs crossed, or sitting down on a cushion, whatever feels comfy for you. And take a little bit of time just to relax into that seat, getting nice and comfy. Glide your shoulder blades down, maybe close your eyes and start to take some breaths in through the nose and out through the nose. Oxygen in, oxygen out. Breathing in for four counts. Breathing out and just bring your attention to your breath. Maybe set some intention. What has brought you here? If you've done Pilates before or if you're just joining me for the first time, just remind yourself what has brought you onto the mat. Okay, wrap your hands now around the lower part of your rib cage. Your middle fingers are touching. Try not to hold any tension upstairs. Just relax, allow your collarbones to be open and take some deep breaths in through the nose. Now, as you inhale, just watch my hands. They spread apart. So you're breathing into your rib cage here as opposed to breathing into the belly. Focus on that. Inhale into your rib cage, part your hands, and then exhale out through the mouth this way. <sighs> through the exhalation, you want to focus on drawing that rib cage down and in so that your fingertips meet. A nice analogy that I like to use in Pilates to really tap into this style of breath is imagine you're wearing a corset wrapping around your trunk. As we inhale here, you're going to expand that corset. It loosens out. As you exhale through the mouth, here we go. Tightening that corset up. Keep going. Breathing in, expanding your rib cage, breathing out, narrowing your rib cage. In through the nose, maybe closing your eyes, out through the mouth, keeping a nice soft gaze out in front and just focusing on your breathing. So in Pilates, we use breath to do a load of different things. But for me, most important is to bring a focus to your workouts. Forget about anything else that is happening other than the breath, in and out. Second reason why we use breath work, to protect your spine. A lot of the Pilates classical exercises are really designed to build muscle strength and endurance and we have to maintain an appropriate style of breath to ensure that we're protecting our spine. So we will be focusing on some spinal health in session number two, so next week's. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Now let's start to connect to your center. Centering is another Pilates principle. I like to think of your trunk as a grand central station. Everything starts from here. In Pilates, it's oftenly referred to as your powerhouse. This, your trunk, 
not just your abs, not just those six backs, front, back and side. So we are going to be looking at building a nice, strong, grand central station. So let's center. With your breath, inhale, expand your rib cage. Now as you exhale, make that exhalation audible like this. You should feel some pressure now starting to build in your abdominal wall. Lift your belly button up towards your spine as if you're slinging a big hammock of muscles up. What that's going to do is connect to the muscles that sit at the bottom of your Grand Central Station, your pelvic floor. Those are big, big muscles that wrap all the way from the spine round to the front. They support all of your internal organs. So let's sling those muscles up and start to engage through the center. Keep going with the breath. Inhale. Should be really focusing now on that corset, opening and closing, lifting that belly button up to meet the spine. So we've just covered breath work and we've covered centering. Final thing is going to be our alignment, which I'm about to take you through now. See if you can maintain this style of breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth and keep that lift from your pelvic floor. Another analogy to think of, zipping up a really tight pair of jeans. The pair of jeans that you put on after Christmas. <laughs> 1st of January, those jeans. Okay, from here, we're going to find ourselves in tabletop position on all fours and start to prepare the body. So come onto tabletop, untuck your feet, just check your alignment here. In Pilates, we want to ensure that we are starting every exercise with optimal alignment. So that's keeping your hips nice and stable, it's keeping your shoulders nice and stable, and of course keeping that spine protected. So the hands are shoulder width apart, the feet are hip distance apart, knees are underneath the hips, tuck the chin ever so slightly. Now this one's a really nice way to to mobilize your spine. So eyes on me. Inhale, drop your belly to the mat and pull your shoulder blades all the way back and look up towards the sky, taking an extension of your spine. Now exhale as you round, you claw through your fingertips and you look up towards your belly button. Repeat, inhale, finding me the extended spine. Loop your shoulders back, look up, look up. And then exhale, round, feeling the skin of the back stretching. Keep going with breath, inhale. And exhale. So as humans, we spend so much time rounded over desks, laptops, holding stress. This is a really nice exercise to do, maybe for 30 seconds to one or two minutes away from your desk to keep your spine mobile, to keep it healthy, all from the top of the spine down to the lumbar spine. Inhaling and exhaling, claw through the fingertips, look up towards your belly if you can. Two more, inhale, pull the shoulders back. Breathe, exhale, round, tuck, tilt. Last one, inhale, expansion of the rib cage, exhale, claw, skin of the back stretches. Now from here, stay in your cat stretch for me. We're just going to start to shake the head yes and nod the head no. So don't worry if this feels a little bit silly, you're just releasing tension in the cervical spine, letting go of any stress, let it go. Exhale through the mouth, nodding head yes, shaking head no, and then coming back into your seat and just loosening it out. So we're going to move into the final part of the preparation phase for a Pilates class, which is your pelvic tilt. So in Pilates, we like to speak about neutral pelvis. Now, what does that actually mean? A lot of our exercises, particularly our ab exercises, which we will be covering next session, we're going to be working from a neutral pelvis. So come back onto all fours, untuck those feet. Now, this one's a little bit different to the cat cows. As we inhale, you're going to drop the pubic bone down towards the mat. The upper back and the mid back stay where they are. Exhale as you reverse and you curl your tailbone all the way behind you, once again zipping up those tight pair of jeans. So these two tilts 
anterior is where we drop the pubic bone forward and then posterior where we tuck backwards so in your own time with your breath i want you to explore these two for me inhale drop the pubic bone down exhale scoop up and under exaggerate your two tilts imagining that your pelvis the bottom of your grand central station is a bowl of water you're going to spill that bowl of water out towards the floor and then you're going to scoop it back up with breath with breath so this is a really nice way to warm up the lumbar part of your spine and then to connect to those big pelvic floor muscles okay how we now get into a neutral pelvis is by just wiggling into a position that sits somewhere between those two. Now it is an active position, so you shouldn't feel really relaxed here. The belly shouldn't be dropping down. We want to feel at least 30% engagement and lift from the pelvic floor. We're gonna be working with this in our next session, which is where we'll start to introduce our spinal flexion exercises, which are going to be your abdominal curls, and then your spine strengthening exercises, which is going to be the back extension. So just play around with neutral pelvis, and we'll finish first session, 10 minutes already gone, back where we began, reminding ourselves of that first principle, the breath. Now see, Next week, when you join me on the mat for our second session, if you can bring everything we focused on today, alignment, breathing, and centering with you. Hands wrap round, shoulders down, inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. I hope you enjoyed that quick introduction to Pilates. I will see you guys next session for another 10 minutes of Pilates with Eve. Thank you.